What are the new things that are coming to play? What are the new energies which are coming to play in marketing? Possibly that is somewhere where, where um, you could elaborate. So an interesting comment comes to my mind, okay, which is attributed to Bernard Shaw, but I don't know whether it's true. He said, uh, prediction is difficult, especially of the future. Now, typically what we do is we have always been looking at the at the at a, at a rear view mirror, okay, and looking at what has happened in the past, okay, and then trying to project it into the future. Okay, so we will say we study history, okay, and then try to project it into the future. Now that used to be the case, say a decade ago, okay, that used to be valid, but now history is becoming thinner, okay, it's becoming a thin ice to skate on. Because history is breaking past trends. So basically the, the, the whole paradigm is changing. Okay? The whole electronic digitization, everything uh, that uh, Dr. Medi, uh, Sagar, uh, uh, Ranjit, so on spoke, spoke about, it, it's, it's happening. Okay? So the whole thing is how do we predict, okay, and how do we therefore ensure that there is success for everybody, okay? which is the today's theme. Now, uh, what is happening is earlier, Okay, why we used to ask questions to people. Now we, we are developing solutions which basically look at online chatter. Okay, so we are, we are, for instance, market research. Okay, trying to adapt to the future. Okay, is developing something called the predictive spine. Okay, so so for instance, it is possible now to look at online chatter. Okay, so look at Twitter, look at Facebook, look at online feedback left on the company's website. And then you can actually categorize all your responses from customers directly, okay, into positive, negative, okay, and neutral. You can also classify those responses as something like uh, people will promote a particular brand or people will not promote a particular brand. So basically, just looking at just the online world, it's possible to now categorize responses. Okay, and what we have done is based on how those responses are being categorized, it's actually possible to predict how a brand will shape up. Okay, so for instance, Uber has come in into India. It's very strong now, and we didn't anticipate that Uber will pick up so quickly. Big basket is that it's become very strong. Okay? Now, how do you ensure that these kind of brands are successes? For that, we need to look at the online chatter. Okay, so online chatter itself is becoming very important. The second thing is, uh, which is uh, uh, which is something that uh, Rajat uh, spoke about, uh, it is that the, the media is becoming fragmented. Okay? Our attention spans are becoming shorter. So for instance, if there's a communication which an ad agency is bringing out, okay, which could be that on TV, but it could also be watched on the tablet. How do you ensure that people will actually like it, will actually watch it? Okay, instead of saying, okay, here is the break, let me quickly go to the washroom. Okay. Now, there are interesting techniques which have come out now. Okay, for instance, earlier we used to show an ad to people and say, okay, do you like it? What do you like about it? Okay, is there anything which is not good? Okay, how would you rate the ad? Okay, it's all used to be direct question based on showing the ad. Now what has happened is it's completely changed now. What we do is we call them in. Okay, we call consumers in, and we tell them we are going to you are going to play a game. Okay, there is something which is going to happen on the screen. You are just going to play a game, and then there will be some questions later. What is the game? The game is there will be a lot of shapes flashing up on the screen. Okay, there will be a red triangle, there will be a blue square, there will be a, a pink circle, and so forth coming. What you need to do is they will be flashing on the screen all over. You need to just click whenever a blue uh, circle appears. Okay, exact, exactly. So what what is happening is we sits in front of the computer and these these things keep flashing up. And his, his job is to quickly quickly click the right blue circle. Okay, so there are a lot of other circles and triangles and so on appearing. The catch is there is also a TV ad playing in the center. Okay. Now what he's got to do is, so there's a TV ad playing and he's also got to click things uh, on the screen. And we check the score, the right score. Okay, so how many right clicks has he made of that blue circle, for instance. Okay. And based on that score, we cal calculate how effective the ad is in the center, even though we are not asking any questions about the ad itself. Okay. Now why is that? What's the logic then? Can anybody tell me what is the logic 
of not asking a single question about the ad. Okay, the whole game is about clicking something on the sites. Okay, what's the logic? Absolutely, you've got it back on. Okay, so if an ad is engaging and important, so a big applause to you. ad is engaging, okay, he's bound to make more mistakes. If an ad is not engaging, he's bound to get things clear. So it's reverse logic, okay. So a lot of the new techniques which are coming into the field, okay, basically to predict the future, okay, and to ensure success for all brands which are getting launched, is reverse logic. Okay? It's, it's counterintuitive, okay, because otherwise you would have said, okay, you, you have to, if the ad scores well, then it's a success. Okay? Now it's completely changed. So there are a lot of these things. For instance, we also look at something called situational equity. So earlier what used to happen, we'll say, okay, Lux is a brand. And it's, it's got a brand equity and the brand equity has to be good and is stable. Now, this whole concept of branding has changed. There's no concept of a brand equity which will remain stable. Okay. So for instance, KFC, okay, will have a different brand equity when I'm hungry compared to when I'm not hungry. Okay, KFC will have a different brand equity in the morning compared to say the evening. Okay. So now, for instance, if I if I know that uh, if I'm doing something on restaurants, okay, I can actually ask people. So there are a lot of online panels now. Okay, I can I can call up a person or I can send him a link and he can click and give a quick response as to what is he currently doing now? So he'll say, okay, I am in this Udupi restaurant. Okay. And then you ask him a question on the on what would he have actually been wanting to do. Okay, so he'll say, I would actually want to be in a KFC, but KFC does not have a breakfast option. Or there is no KFC currently available. Okay. Now based on that, we can actually figure out that the situational equity for KFC and in the morning is very high, but there's a big gap. Okay. Now that's an opportunity for KFC to actually retune their menu. Okay, retune where they are. Okay, retune their morning hours. Okay, that's what but that's what uh, McDonald's has done in India. Okay, you must have been aware of the huge success of McDonald's now because they have completely changed it based on a good understanding of the consumer now. Earlier when it came in, it was a big disaster. It was a flop, but now they have completely rechanged it based on understanding the customer. So these are the kind of things uh, which are happening at Jitav, which are basically helping us look and predict into the future. Because it's all about prediction. 